Hey everyone, welcome back to another video from, from our Europe vacation. So it's the Monday after spa weekend. Um, as I said in the last video, the race was awesome. The whole experience was just insane. Um, if you're a fan of F1, this is definitely a race to come to, assuming they don't cancel the spa weekend. But anyways, we're just in our hotel room, uh, getting ready to leave, getting everything packed up. So excuse any mess you see in the background. But our hotel is actually in Maastricht in the Netherlands. Uh, it's about an hour drive between here and the track, give or take the crazy traffic. But I actually wanted to show you guys around our room and the hotel itself because it's really cool. So the quick backstory is that it's a 15th century monastery um, and then it, it was a church up until 1797 when the French revolutionaries came in and kicked out all the monks. They turned this complex into a military base at that time. So actually where our room is, is the gatekeeper's residence that they built. Um, and then the French were here for a while until 1880 when the building kind of fell into ruin. The city decided to use it as an agricultural uh, testing station until 1980 and then it was a few other things between then and then in 2003 the I guess the hotel bought it um, started the renovations then the hotel opened in 2005 and it's been a hotel ever since but just to give you guys a quick room tour so I'm basically standing right here at the front door rest well to the right of the door we have a little a little toilet um, all the doors are glass in here that close off they're cold or frosted glass so of course, if you're in the washroom, no one can really see you in there. Window here just faces out to the street. You have a little well, closet number one, I guess. There's a safe in there. You have a mini fridge. There's a couple little tables in there. Some drawers to put stuff in. A couple hangers. Your mini bar up top. You get a nice mirror. And then you come this way, kind of up the hallway. You have the bath, well, the washing area essentially. So double sinks. You got a shower with a rainfall head and you, you have the, um, the wand as well. I don't know what it is about Europe, but I don't think they like closed off showers because you can see the glass kind of ends here. So water kind of gets everywhere. Um, closet number two in here, just a basic closet. And then you come into the bedroom again with a glass door there that closes off and then a glass door here that closes off. Behind this door is kind of the room's party trick where it's not actually a door, it's a fake door, but you open it up and you have photos of Marilyn Monroe and it plays some music. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear that at all. It plays well, fairly quietly, even in the room. Then you just go ahead and close up the door and eventually the music stops. And then we have the bedroom. So two, two double beds here, you have your radiator, over here and then we can see the window here leads out to the courtyard so directly in front of us guys is the original monastery as i mentioned we are in the gatekeepers residence so you can see a little square out there we'll go outside in a second there's a gate out to the street that way but yeah not the not the largest room but definitely one of the funkiest hotels and hotel rooms i've ever stayed in you can see all the beautiful wood on the ceiling and we have our meerkat statue friend. I guess this is something to do with the hotel. I've seen a few of these around, walking around. But yeah, that's a quick tour of our hotel room. I was going to finish getting all my stuff together, head out towards the car, and I'll take you guys through the rest of the hotel, aka the old church. Okay, so quick little switch up. I just had to take my stuff to the car. This is an old converted church that the hotel has, so I guess this is kind of the back end. The front entrance is over there, but we'll go inside in just a second. But you can see here, just beautiful architecture. We got this lovely little garden outside. Um, I might be able to tell from here, but it's just it's just cool little pattern of paths you can walk around. There's this horse statue with no legs. Not exactly sure what that's all about, but yeah, you can see the little path in there. The garden winds around. This is another side of the abbey. We can see actually the kitchen right through there. The food here is is awesome. We've had breakfast two of the days, and we had dinner here last night after the race. Yeah, you can see there's a little there's a little parking lot here basically if you don't park here overnight they valet your car to a lot i have no idea where but they valet your car somewhere so this is kind of temporary parking for check-in check-out or if you're waiting to leave but yeah so this is kind of your entrance in it's just on this small little side street here of course a bunch of bikes over there because the netherlands um but if we walk this way quickly you can see that obviously there's a little gate here into the parking some more of the awesome architecture of the church and then when you walk up you have this awesome entrance which is like a copper on the on the inside with the flowers 
around. Of course, we got the flags there. But yeah, if you walk in, you kind of walk through this tunnel, which tunnels you into the hotel. We have automatic doors that open up. And then we come in here to the lobby. So we walk into the lobby. There's stairs up here to the restaurant Spencer's, which is its own independent restaurant, but they also do the breakfast uh, for the hotel. So if we just come up the stairs quickly. And this structure they built, um, obviously for the hotel to be able to serve food. So I'm not gonna go all the way up, but we can see we have this nice eating area here, right in the main old part of their church. So you can see all the lovely artwork and stuff on the ceilings. And then if we come back down, so we got the front desk over that way. We got a couple of little seating areas on the front here. We got this wall full of all kinds of different artworks and sculptures. I think all from local artists or artists, so at least from the Netherlands. We have the little wine bar back here. When we have this really awesome wine fridge, you can see, well, I don't know if you can see on camera, it's a little bit foggy on the inside, but you can see this wine fridge with just hundreds of bottles of wine. So I think you, if, you, if you're a wine drinker, you have no problem finding what you want. That's a little wine bar over there with the red that wraps all the way around the corner. If they come back this way, you can see it wraps all the way around that way. Again, more, some more nice artwork on the walls. You can see there's an elevator. There as well, takes you to a higher level. So level two, obviously the eating area. I think there's a third level. I think there's some more rooms up there. Maybe some of the offices for the hotel. But oh, there's a little little library up that way. There's some offices back there. You can see the elevator here. If you need anything, some shampoo or books on the city, that's where you get it here. We can see here, this is the plaque that said when they begun the restoration of this building to be the hotel. So they started it in 2003. As I said, it opened in 2005. And in 2017, it, it won the Dutch Hotel Award. So if we come through this door, we can get more to kind of the back of the church. I'm not gonna walk around the entire thing, obviously. So we have rooms all up that stairs, rooms down that hallway, rooms down that way. The kitchen's also down that way. We got this lovely courtyard um, in the middle, which I'll see if I can't. No, you need the room key to open that. But if I put my thing up against the window, you can see there's a courtyard out there, there's a little bar out there, so you can sit out there and enjoy a drink. It's some slightly better weather, it's a little drizzly and cold today, but we'll make a quick beeline back this way. Because if we come up this hallway, so this is the hallway out to the back of the church, where I, I just showed you guys was our room. Again, we got some more awesome sculptures in the windows here. <clears throat> yeah, so stairs here to lead up to some more rooms, so a couple more rooms down that hallway there. And then, as I mentioned, so this is the kind of the end of the old church. So, you can see, this is the courtyard that we can see from our room. Our room is those windows right there. And this is what I was talking about, is the gatekeeper's house that the French built back in, well, they took over in 1797. I don't exactly know when they built this, this structure, but this structure has been here for a very long time. And then, this is also a building with rooms that obviously the hotel just built on the property but yeah it's really cool this whole property again is an old 15th century monastery that's been beautifully converted into this hotel and uh if you guys are ever in maastricht in need of a hotel i would definitely recommend this place the staff are awesome the service is awesome the room is is comfortable the beds and everything are comfortable the food's great so yeah if you ever find yourself in maastricht netherlands come check out the the Cusheren hotel <music>
quick walk from the hotel and we're in this massive square which I don't know if it's the central square of the city but it's probably one of a couple and yeah just a massive open space for people to hang out there's it looks like another church over that way there's obviously a bunch of restaurants along this side which is where we're headed to grab some lunch there's McDonald's over there and yeah this is just a massive open space but yeah we're headed over this way to grab some food